classic matchup dating back to 2016 continues today as the defending AL champion Cobras return to face off against the winningest MLW team of all time, the Western Wildcats. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz alongside TC3, ready to begin play on the American League side of things on this beautiful day at the Meadows. Exactly, it finally feels like summer a little bit out here. I'm really excited. And uh, I've had this one circled on my calendar since last year. This was one of my favorite matchups of last year's regular season, the Wildcats and the Cobras. They went toe to toe all three games, great pitching on both sides, great defense. So I'm excited to be back behind the camera today commentating, it's a fun thing to do. So I'm uh, looking forward to it. And the Cobras, they got that dynamic duo on the mound of Baranowski and Sawyer Bean. Sawyer entering his second year, Baron his third. And they got Drew Davis and Sean Flynn and Chris Baranowski making his debut. That is the rest of their ensemble cast. So this Cobras team, they're hungry, their fan base is desperate for wins, and uh, it all starts today. It's unfortunate for them too that Andy Duran is having car trouble, and that's why he, for right now, cannot make it to the Meadows. Shout out to Andy, I wish you were here, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Um, and talk about my squad, we have four guys today. Unfortunately, Liam also had something come up, so the guys we have today at the Meadows are me, Sailor, Pearson, and Ty Smith, who is now in his second year of MLW play. Ultimately, we're looking for a great improvement from our 2022 season. Now I want to go more in depth on the history of the Coastal Cobras and how they're still trying to get over that hump of winning a World Series title. So here's kind of an overview of their franchise. They're one of two teams remaining in our league to not win a World Series. It's them and the Magic. However, the Cobras are an older team. They were established in 2016 as opposed to the Magic in 2019. So they have the longest drought of not winning a World Series title. So I want to ask you, Tommy, what do you think gets them over that hump? I, mean, I mentioned it last week a little bit talking about my own team. I think executing in the big moments is important. Looking at the season as a whole, I think the Cobras are known for just having that one bad outing, whether it's the regular season when it's crunch time, or last year in the World Series, they seem to kind of always, for lack of a better word, lay an egg out there for a series and on a day. So if they can eliminate that day and stay level-headed all season long and play their best wiffle ball consistently, I think they can do it. They have the tools. They have the tools and they have the maturity that I think they lacked in the past. So we'll see. One final thing, guys, before player interviews, we have a couple tournaments coming up here in August. So our hometown Michigan tournament at the Legacy Center is happening on August 5th and 6th. And then two weeks after that, August 19th and 20th, we're going to New York. That's right, Long Island at Lasorda Legacy Park. We will be having our Long Island Whiffs tournament. So go show out for that one, as well as our hometown Michigan tournament, which is always super fun. Mm -hmm. So down to the field now for some player interviews. All right, Baron, year three on the clock. We're moments away from your first start of the season. Um, and it was a tough series loss for you guys in SoFi to end last year. So what message do you want to send to Cobra fans heading into this year? Uh, I want to tell them we're excited. Uh, they should be excited with us. We've had a great run last year. And we're just that much closer to winning it all, one step away. And JP, we saw you throwing out in Peoria at the tournament, through in spring training really well. Are we going to see you out there today on the mound? Uh, I mean, if you guys do, I'm going to give it my all. I've been working really hard this offseason. And all the Wildcats, I know they have trust in me. And I'm just ready to go. It's going to be a great series today. going to be a great series indeed. Cobes Cats, first pitch coming up. It'll be Schultz, Sailor, Pearson, Smith. Four-man lineup for the Cats. Let's go! Pitch from Barron. Popped up in the right field. That ball's got a chance. That ball is gone. A leadoff homer for the Western Wildcats. That ball was hit a lot harder than I thought. And just like that, the Cats jump out to a 1-0 lead. That thing got out no problem. It just stayed fair inside the pole. Got him looking, strike three, nice pitch from Barron. Good answer there after the leadoff, Homer. Outside, ball four on a full count pitch. Got him, swing and a miss. Barron makes quick work of Smith. And he's got two away now. Back to the top of the order for the Wildcats. Let's go Kyle, stay hot, stay hot. Ground ball, that's gonna be a fair ball in play. Barrett can't handle it. Schultz is safe at first. Pearson's going three, and he will hold there. Kyle advances to second base. Tough hop for Barron. It popped up a little higher than he expected, I think. Couldn't handle it cleanly. And now the Cats could do some serious damage in the first inning. A dangerous hitter and Nick Saylor coming to the plate. This would be a great time for Saylor's first knock of the season. 
Shot in the left field. Pass Drew to the wall. Pearson scores. Here comes Schultz. He is out at the plate. But one run comes in and is now 2 nothing Wildcats. The Cobras get out of the inning. But a great start there for Kyle Schultz and the Western Wildcats. Seeing Baranowski, the former Cy Young winner, very well. Kyle Schultz taking the bump for the Cats as expected. Pitch for Davis. Inside, heavy ball forward to Drew Davis. Lead off walk for the Cobes. Yes, he did. Strike three. Sawyer. Frustrated with the call, but I think that was the right one. Walk out pitch. Got him looking. Strike three. Two away now for Barron. And yes, folks, Barron will be Barron, and Chris will be Chris. In the left, Get that out. ball's got a chance, and Sailor will make the grab in front of the monster in left. Schultz escapes with no damage, and the Cats still lead it 2-0, heading to the second. Got a piece into the zone for strike three. Tough break for Pearson. One away. Swing and a miss. Got him. Another drop ball. I think he's pretty violent. In the center, that's a shot. And Drew Davis stares it out in left center field. The no fly zone. As he coined it last year at SoFi Stadium. Gets the Cobras out of the inning. One, two, three. Drew Davis, folks. Always in that conversation for Gold Glove. Slider in the left, Sailor feels it cleanly to JP, and he is out at first base. We can get, we can take a look, we can take a look. the review the call is reversed the runner is safe at first base yeah, baby, Drew. screwball got him swinging nice spot there from Schultz got him strike three two down for Baron in the left Sailor what a play flips the Jackson and he got him Unbelievable! What a defensive showcase from the Wildcats there. That ball even took a hop. Sailor with soft hands. Flip to Pearson on the bag. We are headed to the third. Swing and a miss. Nick Sailor goes down swinging. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Barron. Kind of racking him up now. That shaky first. Got him. Strike three. Baranowski, great inning. Takes care of the side. Cobras need two to tie and three to win. Here we go. Drew twists the hips. Oh, That's in the center field, and that is a solo homer for Drew Davis. He takes his time getting to first. You never know what you're going to get from Drew. A little bit disrespectful, honestly, but he'll touch them all here in the third. And he cuts the deficit in half. The Cobras are now down by one. And it'll be the tying run at the plate in Sawyer Bean. Let's go! Up the middle, Sailor ranges, flips, and he can't handle it at first. Almost a fantastic play again from Nick Sailor. He's looking solid out there in left field. Tough play, though. That'll be a base hit in the books all day for Sawyer Bean. And now Flynn is the winning run at the plate. Wow, some game one drama here. Got him strike three looking. Nice pitch there from Schultz. 
silence the Cobras fans momentarily. Now it's Baron with one out. Baronowski versus Schultz. Swing and a miss. That's a huge out for the Cats. Two down now. And it's going to be Drew Davis. He homered in his last at bat. He's been clutch for the Cobras before. Let's see if he can make something happen here with two down in the third. No, he didn't go, he didn't go. That's ball four. First and second now. The tying run is at second base. Kyle Schultz was careful there with Davis. Probably the right thing to do there, as they did talk that over. Now it's gonna be Sawyer. Don't sleep on 1-6, he's a good hitter. One one. In the right, run, that's run, in play run, for Pearson. And he makes the catch at the wall. The Wildcats win. A dramatic game one. Came right down to the wire. High pressure situation there at the Meadows here. And it's only May. Definitely a big game atmosphere. I love that. Cats are 1 0. You! And as expected, Jackson Pearson will be taking the hill here in game two for the Wildcats. Got him off the corner. What a start for Jackson Pearson. Great stuff there from 41. Ball four to Sawyer Bean. Got him, strike three, swinging a miss. Down the dirt. Chris Baranowski stepping in for his first AB. Inside, all four. Nice at bat there for Chris Baranowski in his debut. In the right, Sailor makes the grab right near foul territory. We head now to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first, Sawyer being taking the hill. Outside, ball four. That's also a warning for the inning at 73. Drop ball, got him. There it is, folks. Sawyer Bean breaks it out here. Strike out Sailor. Inside, ball four. First and second now. One away for Ty Smith. Outside, ball four, being in some trouble here. They are loaded now with only one away. And the top of the order coming up. Got him, strike three, swing and a miss. Nice pitch there from Bean. Buried the drop ball in on the hands. Two down, that was a massive out. Can Bean get out of that jam? Got him, strike three, wow. Sawyer Bean, ladies and gentlemen, showing some poise here in his first series of 2023. And we are still scoreless through one. Jackson Pearson back to work. Swing and a miss, takes care of Sawyer Bean. One away, another strikeout for Jackson. Good eye. That is a warning for the inning, too, at 73 miles per hour. And Sean Flynn is aboard. Ball four on four straight. Chris Baranowski works a walk. There is now two aboard. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Jackson Pearson. Two down for Sawyer. Snared by Kyle Schultz, inning over. Again? Just like that. Again? Being gets robbed again. 
and the Cats are playing some great defense today. I said that was a factor in last year's series too. Some dazzling plays out there. Side, ball four. Slider off the corner, pipe it up, Sawyer B in. Strike three. God, team, strike three. Sawyer forcing that drop ball in on the hands. A couple of times we've seen that today. It's a good spot for it. Two away. Down ball, that's in play. Sawyer, and he's gonna tag Sailor out at first base. That'll end the inning. Threat gone. No runs, no hits in this ball game through two. And that'll bring us to today's B0101 trivia question. Of the players shown on screen, which five guys played a series at Colts Field at one point in their career? There was two Wildcats and three Cobras. Kyle and Nick for the Cats, and Andy, Sean, and Drew for the Cobras. Inside, another leadoff walk in this game too. We've had quite a bit of those here. Inside, great at bat from six. Right now! Ball low, and Pearson has found himself in quite the jam here. As big of a jam as you can be in if you are the Wildcats. And we got ourselves a Patley Cards pitching change. Gonna be Nick Saylor entering this ball game for Pearson. Oh. Auto ball, that is ball for the Sawyer Bean. And that's gonna push one across for the Cobes in the top of the third. Potentially the game winning run. Low ball for True Nothing Cobes. If Sailor can't find it quickly, they're going to be in trouble. Low ball four. Another one comes across that is now three nothing Coastal Cobras. Ground ball. Pearson, he can't make the play, goes all the way to the wall. One run scores, two run scores, a two run RBI double for Drew Davis. Let's go, Drew, that's what I'm talking about. Two ribbies for Drew. The infield was in, and it is now 5 0 Cobes. Swing and a miss. The first out of the inning as BN strikes out swinging there. Got him looking, strike three, off the tin. Two away now. Nice pitch from Nick Saylor, and that'll do it. Five in for the Coastal Cobras. Saylor did find it there, so that's encouraging moving forward. But it was a struggle throwing strikes there for the Wildcats to start that inning off. Inside. Lead off walk again. Sound like a broken record. Slider looking. Nice pitch from Sawyer being froze Ty Smith. Ground ball, that ball is fair over the bag. First and second base hit for the Wildcats. Ball four, hold the phone, folks. We got bases loaded with only one out, and the Wildcats could make this game a whole heck of a lot more interesting with just one swing of the bat. They are down five. Wicked drop off the pipe, strike three. Two down now. Last hope for the Wildcats is Ty Smith, the four hitter. Let's go, Cobras. Let's go, Cobras. 
Low, ball low, ball four. The inning extends and the Wildcats get a run. Five to one and that is big because the tying run now comes to the plate and it's Kyle Schultz. What in that bat from Ty Smith. We'll show you the whole thing right here. This guy was down 0-2 and fought all the way back. Took a couple of great drop balls from Sawyer Bean. Let them all go. And he earns himself a walk to keep this game going. Ground ball. Drew charges it. Has nowhere to go. An RBI single for Kyle Schultz. It's now 5-2. And the winning run will come to the plate. Some more late game dramatics here in game two. It's still raining, isn't it? I think it's still raining. Go, 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 Tipped into the zone, strike three. Wow, that ball was redirected off the bat and such a tough break if you're Nick Saylor. Yeah, bat almost feels stolen from him, but the Cobras have evened the series. One apiece. Both squads now one and one, and we're heading to game three to see who will win this series. Some rain is falling now, kind of steadily. Swing and a miss. Great job by Baranowski. Hammer. Barrett knocks it down. The play at first got him. Great job by Brendan Baranowski. He is a great defensive pitcher. He made a handful of plays last year, some against the Cats and knocks that ball down and takes care of business. Sean Flynn finishes the play for him at first. Great play there for Barron, two away. Got him, strike three. Barron cruising here early in game three. A couple of strikeouts and that nice defensive play as well to help himself out. Got him, strike three on a drastic screwball there. Wouldn't even call that a riser, that thing was nasty though, a lot of movement. See that one again in slow motion. Nice start to the game three for Schultz as well. Foul, Schultz ranging makes the play. Schultz is quick off that mound, I'll tell you what. He is one of the best at getting to those foul balls in the league, he's been doing it for years now. Got him looking. The screwball again from Kyle Schultz. He is feeling it here in game three. This might be a pitcher's duel, folks. Going to the second, scoreless. Got him swinging. Baranowski spotting up. In the right, Flynn's camped, and he makes the catch right in front of the wall. Two down, Barron making very quick work. Swing and a miss. One, two, three, go the Wildcats. Brandon Baranowski, the Cy Young Award winner last year. We're going to the bottom of the second, still scoreless. Ground ball to Sailor. Got him at first. Great play. Sailor's looked great out there playing that shortstop slash left field position. Overall, the Cats defense has been tremendous today, folks. Tremendous. Outside. One man on for the Cobes. What a screwball off the corner. Literally off the red piece. That red elbow on the strike zone. The definition of piping it up right there, folks. Here's the pitch to Sean Flynn. Outside, ball four. First and second now for Barron. Barron hit the ball hard in his last A-B. He's getting some words of encouragement there from Bean on the sidelines. And this is a big spot for Baranowski. Ace on ace here. Ground ball, back to Kyle, in play. 
He fakes the peg and tags him out. A classic play. The veteran and Kyle Schultz showing. And he gets out of the jam. We're going to the third. Still a 0-0 ball game. Pearson to right field, that ball's gone! Jackson Pearson solo home run, his first of the year. Come on, baby. And the second of the season for the Wildcats, and it could not have come at a better time. Jackson Pearson, ladies and gentlemen. What a swing from 41. One, nothing, Wildcats. to right field and that ball is gone back to back home runs the Wildcats have a history of going back to back no different here in their first series as Smith takes one deep to right field 2-0 back to back from the three four spots in their lineup Ground ball. Baranowski knocks it down. Got no play this time though to get the speedy Schultz. Base hit. Three straight hits in this inning for the Wildcats after getting nothing going in the first two innings of this game. Ground ball. Hard hit to Sean. Can't handle it. And he flips him and got him at first. What a play. The ball did go out of play. Schultz will be awarded third base. Quick pitch, got him swinging at 72. Right at the limit there from Barron. A good riser, jam Pearson inside. Two down now for Smith. Ground ball to Barron, goes to first and got him. They get the force at first base, but not before the back-to-back -back jacks for the Wildcats from their three and four hitters, Pearson and Smith, stepping up big time. And we'll head to the third inning now. The Cats will look to shut the door and win this series. But first, the squad is mic'd up in between innings. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, Ty. Come on, baby. Come on, Ty. God, man, go. Let's go. Dude, I'll tell you one thing. I love you. That's what it's about. I mean, that's what it's about simply right Wildcat there. Wiffle ball. Wildcat wiffle ball, being back at the Meadows. Stuff, being back at the Meadows. Yeah, bro. Well, yeah, just going up the dirt road. Going up the dirt road set the tone for everything. I pull up here, I see the cars, I see everything, I see the little little porta potty over there. I'm, I know it's time, dude. I know it's time, and you know who the first person I saw was? Tommy. I saw Tommy and I had to, I, I literally wrote down my window, I'm like, Tommy, great series, dude, great series. I texted Kyle, I said, year four, I'm thankful to be in it, you know. It, all glory to God, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for it. You're the most appreciative kid, I love it. Hey, hey, I, I, I appreciate the fact you, you guys say I'm appreciative. How about them Tigers? How about them Tigers, dude? Did I hear correctly that's five in a row? I mean, I'm always happy when they're, they're playing good, but five in a row? No, school, school ended, baseball ended, you know, this wiffle ball time. It's summer. It's the summer, man. We rolling, we rolling. Yep, go on. Keep playing our game. Keep playing good defense. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's roll. Let's roll. Nobody down. Cover one. Swing and a miss. Well located riser there from Schultz up and out of the zone. Come on, Sawyer. Anyway, anyway. Got him to chase. Strike three. Oh, what a pitch from Schultz. Watch on. He elevated again and got Sawyer to leave the zone. They are now one out away from taking the series. Full count pitch, here it is. And a shot in the left center and gone! Flynn extends the game. The Coves have life. Some more late game drama here at the Meadows. Two to one ball game. Sean Flynn hammered that pitch. And it is a two one game. The Cubs are one swing away. And it'll be Baron Oski. Oh, you up next. Go. Wow. Let's go, Sean! Let's go, Quinn! Let's go! 
Here's the pitch to Baron. Got the corner strike three, and the Cats win the series. What a thrilling day at the Meadows. And the Cats will take two out of three from the Coastal Cobras, the defending AL champs. And that's a great start for Kyle Schultz and his guys, his squad this year. Ty Smith and Jackson Pearson, the heroes in game three with a pair of homers. All right, another series in the books. I'm joined by Kyle Schultz. He's today's BL 101 player of the day. Kyle, two wins on the mound, a solo homer in game one. Uh, how are you feeling today? Feeling really good. I just love that it was a team victory. Um, just thinking about Ty hitting a home run, super proud of him. Jackson again. Um, and we were all just seeing the ball well, so just really happy to get a series win to start off our season and hope to keep it going in our next series. Absolutely, you guys look pretty good today. Nice to get that contribution from your three, four spot in your lineup. But overall, good series. Cats take it 2-1 from the Cobes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to MLW and you can do so by clicking up in that corner. See our last video opening day, click up in that corner. Check out our description below for a bunch of information on our tournaments, our podcast, and much more. We'll see you guys next week.